What's up, guys? It's your girl Nito here. And Igor, guys, today we are at Hotchkiss and we are going to show you what you can get in terms of a brand new property in Calgary, Alberta. And today, Nito is going to be leading the way and I'm going to be the camera person. So let's go inside and I'll show you what you can get in Calgary. Welcome to this amazing two story detached house which has about five bedrooms three and a half bathrooms and about 2200 square feet look around you have a spare bedroom well you can convert that as a bedroom but this can be my office where you work from home and then you have the open plan kitchen where basically you can cook everything for your kids drop them off you know just like pancakes and it's so open that you can access the space so conveniently that's the dining area and right off the dining area you have your amazing backyard space look at this and from here once you're done with your backyard space you get to watch your your tv which can be right here enjoying with your with your fireplace in those cold chilly winter seasons of Calgary and then you can go upstairs once you can go upstairs once you're done with cooking cleaning working from home to your paradise let's go all right you two I'm coming so once this is look at this space i mean you will not feel congested because there is a window over there and this beautiful i don't know maybe you can convert it into a beautiful chandelier if you really want to and i'm telling you you're going to go up and down that's going to be your gym <laughs> because in a two-story house that's going to be one of the workout for you and your kids now let me show you the first bedroom here so that's like a twin size bed that can be you know that's ample um, ample space for your two kids then there is a wardrobe you've got a huge window and they jump around run around jump around run around and then you have here where you can have your grandparents room look at this a king size bedroom with open views big size window and a wardrobe now the best thing about new homes is that like when you open the wardrobe look at this that's enough of space but then there is magnets isn't this magnet Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. Just on the very top over there. It just stays closed. Right, so this is the grandparents' room. This is your kids' room. And right here would be your bathroom for them. This is a full bath. That's your, that's your tub. Well, full, I don't know the real terminology for that, but that's like a full bathroom. <laughs> Realtor terminology is a five-piece bathroom. Five-piece bathroom. And here is the baby's room. Look at this. You have your baby. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> you, know, you can sit down, read stories. You have a window here, of course. And ample amount of space. This can be your changing pad for your baby and you can probably soothe people, your nurse sit down read stories oh my god i cannot imagine what a happy family is going to take possession of such a home now let's go let's go this is the laundry area so you see you have one door here and one entrance door here for the grandparents, the kids to come and put their dirty laundry here. Of course, for the mother to pick up and you know, actually start washing. So 
that's one entrance from where you came from and there is another entrance right at the master bedroom wardrobe so basically a walk-in a walk-in a walk-in closet window. with a window how grandiose <laughs> <laughs> no it's actually pretty good that they made it in such a way right and here you have your oh my god this is like it ends with bathroom is it oh this is the in suite now in suite is because you have your bathroom inside the bedroom and that's why it's called an in suite and i guess this is like a seven piece a seven piece bath should be seven piece so that's the one that's one your baths up there's your stand-in shower this is your bathroom uh, i mean your toilet and then you have your two wow. We normally, we normally don't even count how many pieces after five, you know, in real estate. That's too complicated for the others. Well, one, and then you have your window, which is closer to the bathtub. So then you can, if your houses are not too close, and maybe you can have like a, you know, like a sun, what do you call it? I mean, sun room? You can actually put a skylight on Skylight, a skylight. If you have a skylight, maybe you can watch the stars and have a bath and, and there's also have your spa. There's a cabinetry room. here and the quartz countertops, which is, mm. which is also a good thing. Of course, the big mirror helps, you know, that helps for you to enjoy the feeling that it's grand. And of course, here you can, it's almost like, a, what do you call it? Almost like an apartment. You know, when you combine your walk-in uh, closet, your your ensuite bathroom, and then your master bedroom. It looks more like a hotel. You have like a meeting meet and greet area here, and you also have... <laughs> so first I'm going to interview, you know, inter sit down and interview the husband, but the husband can take a seat down there, and then we can yes. do the rest of the stuff. <laughs> Whether, whether I took the kids to shower on time or not, that's where we can have our meeting call. Right, and look at these two beautiful big windows. It's almost like, is it like floor to ceiling? Well, almost. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. And that's where we parked our car, guys. Check this out. When you see us on the street, it's usually us driving inside that car. <laughs> No. So I think the best part about this particular house that they have built here is that when you look through the master bedroom, like you don't have to see anybody because it's like, you know, the back alley and then the, your front room. Um, mm -hmm. So that's like one of the good things that I like about this house. And of course, the space. I mean, look at the space in this master bedroom and it's carpeted. So, so it's warm and it's it, nice. It's and warm, cozy, nice. That's where all the ladies like to go. They like to go upstairs. The man's favorite place is the basement. And we haven't yet showed that place. Well, so you can really close off this master bedroom like this. And you can have the apartment to yourself. You know, there is a space where you can even put your coffee table or your, you know, to make your coffee or whatever it is so that when you, my office goes when you when you of course that's not that's not the side that's the side where you have a closed single door where you can sit down and close that's your office <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. so i think place. there there is an option where they also do this as a family flex area if those of you don't want the builder to have like a fourth bedroom so there is two bedrooms here one bedroom here and then your master bedroom there so there is an option where if you want to have this as a family entertainment area you can ask the builder right yes yeah no there is lots of things that you can do with the builder and uh, guys make sure you reach out to us first before you go to the builder because uh, you know it's it's important to know all your all your options and have proper representation for yourself well about that topic there are a lot of people who think that they could qualify for such a home but they don't really know what to do with their income or how to crunch the numbers and that's where you get your pre-approval from a mortgage broker like me you have to get your numbers you have to know how much down payment how much uh, would that be in your monthly payment what exactly would be your interest 
rate and how much that would be, you know, in terms of if you want to pay bi-weekly or bi-weekly accelerated is, by the way, to go if you really want to pay off your mortgage faster and if you really want to save that extra interest if you want to go for bi-weekly. Now, let's go see an option where you can actually be your mortgage helper. Now, this is where you can have your, maybe you can close off this area where where upstairs is going to be a privacy where upstairs can uh, have their own space and the downstairs people can have their own space. So this is the, going to be the entrance area. You could have a secondary suite here with separate entrance, basically. Mm -hmm. And you can have, you can, you can look what's going on through this, through this little hover here. <laughs> so you could have, literally have a separate rental unit, whether it's Airbnb or or a one-term tenant, if you don't want to manage an Airbnb. This is where I would go first when I'm going in a house to see how the basement looks like. Well, this area kind of reminds me like a man cave because this kind of area here does not have a window or oh, here is a window you have a small kitchenette here with the sink with your fridge with your beers chilling out here and then here would be the mechanical so yeah, yeah that yeah it's a mechanical room so it yeah this kind of gives you like a man cave kind of a you know sense a feel but if you really want to change this i think if if you really want you can add a window or to make Have it more to see uh, what the specifications of the wall this is a show home Right. So there, you also have to see where the beams are. You also have to see what the code is, where the gas line is, and so many things. Better check with the contractor where you can add a window or not before. There's, of course, a five-piece so, bathroom over here. Five-piece full bath. And here is your one bedroom. One bedroom where your extended family can stay when you're visiting, or you can get it rented out for tenants for long term and that actually could be like a full kitchen uh, living space and this could be like a flex area or it could actually be converted into two bedroom no i would say why not could be a small bedroom close it off with the wall put another door and you get two bedrooms for sure by the way Nitu, you forgot to mention that these guys right now have a promotion yes the promotion is they have a free basement development so you can Get them to build the basement just like up as you want, however the plan you want. And when you have to legalize it, you will have to get in touch with the city or with your contractor, however you want to legalize it. They are just going to develop it for free and that's going to be included in the price. All right, guys, let, let, let us know in the comments down below what you think about need to make it videos on your, on your own and this channel, guys. And let us know if you would like to live in such a home. So the, so the price range is, would vary depending on the square footage, depending on the number of bedrooms, uh, depending on what kind of house is it, like a front uh, car garage, is it like a lane home, is it like a paired home, and uh, it ranges anywhere by uh, where 550 is a starting price up to 720. Now, when you actually go in with a realtor, we can actually negotiate down everything that you want to add on maybe onto the plan or let's say you want to add in a garage or if it's not there or you want to add in a basement you can actually find that going in with the realtor the realtor can compare the market value of what it is actually to take in time to you know build from scratch now, i guess the biggest question that people are going to have for this property need to is what's the price of this one the price of this one, as far as I remember, is somewhere closer to 720, and that includes the finished basement. I believe it's 761 actually for this model. I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I believe it's 761. That's what we were we've been told. And as you can also see, guys, it has nice, beautiful colors of flooring and everything. But just keep in mind when you're buying a home like this one, and need to know landscaping is usually not included. Mortgage broker with DOC Clear Trust Mortgages, EXP DOT right behind the camera, guys. You know where to find us. See you in the next video. Bye, Bye for now. now.